Whoa! Oh, that's a flare. Okay, I'm above them now, which means you won't be able to see me. Kind of. Unless the roaming darkness decides to kill them all. Uh oh. It's getting ominous again. You're gonna go out, aren't you? Yep. <sighs> this is exactly what I feared. Okay, I'll do it this way. How long have I been recording for? Not very long. All right. I just have a, I don't have to stick around to find out. Right. I think the police are all dead, so escaping the police is I don't know, achieved already. Oh wait, no, they have a chopper. Hello! You on the ground. Hold it right there. Don't shoot at me. To run. Ow! Freeze. That's a shotgun. Ow! Oh good grief. They're going, it's going after the chopper. Uh oh. I cannot foresee this going well. Oh jeez. There's nothing left to do but move on. Okay, there's a light up there. I can go there. It's my next save point. Is there anything here I can use? No? Okay. Oh, there's Binox over here. Let's see. Uh, hey, that's the gas station I came from. The chopper's downed, of course. What's up here? It's a radio. Oh, and a thermos. Pick it up. Yay. I'm finding a lot of collectibles today. This over here. I can see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Radio Oh, the radio station. I know where we're, I know who we're gonna see. It's that old man Pat. The the dude that we met on the boat. Way back in the uh, that's it, the second episode. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Yeah, he is a decent guy. He's cool. He's cool. And I'm willing to bet we have to kill him. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without the light. Okay, so I need to find a light around here. A flashlight or something, Simit. Hello. Oh, wait, hold on. Thermos. Mine. I'm gonna use this. There was no power to the search. Or not. <laughs> okay, so this thing needs power, right? Okay, there's the cable. Snaky, snaky, snaky. Generator. Generator. Please, nothing sneak up on me. Please, nothing sneak up on me. Please, nothing sneak up on me. Oh, thank goodness gracious. There it is. Alright. Hey. Hey. Hey, darkness. Die. And it dead. Yep. It died. 
Whoops. Right, let's keep going. Hopefully I'm, I'll find a flashlight and a gun. Or at least some flares. I don't like staying out here in the dark. Is that a house over there with some light? Oh, yep. It's another gate. The shadow... I know, I know, I know. I'm just going this way. Jeez. <gasps> a flashlight! Yes! Gun? No. I'm just gonna stand here and look at you until this until you die. You're dead. Oh, oh I need to ki kill the other door. Okay. And poof, you're gone. All right. I have a way to kill these things. Kind of. It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Flashbang grenades. Nice. Is how do I use these? Do I have to middle mouse? Oh, yep, middle mouse. It's telling me this because I'm willing to bet I have to fight the bullies that are dead. I knew it! Go to hell! Yeah! Okay, light's over there. Let's get to it. Hello! Ow! Ow! Damn it! Death montage again. <sighs> I don't want to waste all the flashbangs though. You have the right to remain dead. Yeah, I can come up with cheesy one line. So what you gonna do about that, brother? Yep, I know, I know, I know. Just let me run. Ow! Okay, fine. You want this? Ow! You're dead. Can I have a gun now? It'd be really nice if I could have a gun right about now. Oh, great. More flashbangs. Well, at least I have a lot of them. Batteries. I might not want to turn on that radio. Okay, I guess gotta reach the station, which is over there. Oh no, coppers! You're dead. I don't know what that achievement is, but I'm gonna, and I'm just gonna disregard it for fear of. I really should turn my notifications off on Steam next time before I record. I hear things. Hello. Ow. I see police lights ahead. Can I jack that car? Please let me. Please let me can jack the car. Please let me can jack the car. Where am I? Oh, oh, it's wrecked. Wonderful. All right, let's move on. I need a bit more. Police are gonna ambush me in the darkness right about now. About now? Yep. Yep. I was right. <laughs> Instincts like a panther! Kapow! They're dead. Alright, we're at the radio station. Oh, that was an easy journey. Although I'm not gonna stop the recording here just yet. I'm gonna continue on for a few. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on for a long way more. Hello! No, no, you! Ha! -ha. Okay. Is the gate locked? Nope. Ooh, bright, bright light. Thank you. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. Thermos! Collectibles, ho! I'm only really, but that's the car he's gonna lend us. I see Pat in there. Hello. Oh, here's a little surprise. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in. Folks, I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. 
Oh great. Just when I needed an interview. Okay. Hello. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. No Whoa, 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 everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. off so many cliffs it was ridiculous that's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop <laughs> it was probably good i hadn't had the chance to tell maine where i was going i'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine well i expected more from that encounter actually pat maine is a very nice it's a very nice character just that we don't get to talk to him so sad